Welcome to today's video. What are you doing? Oh. Dude. Yeah. Listen to this shit. Let me get that. Let me get some of that heat. Yeah. Dude, how hard does that go? I, I get it. Oh shit. Man. Dude, what is this? I, I get it. Dude, check it. Woo! Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, dude, I know that shit. Some straight heat. Ooh. Some straight heat. Ooh. That was it. Alright, would recommend. Alright, let's, let's get in the video, though. Some fire stuff, one sec. Yeah, alright. Alright, so we're back with the PowerPoints, back with the screen shares, but we got a new setup. Maybe you can, maybe you notice that the quality is much higher. The video quality and the sound quality. Uh, but I got the computer down you're here. Always hogging up here. Up, you're always hogging up the screen. This is my video, so... Yeah. Yeah, I get to I get to be the main guy. Right. So how to sell I'm gonna keep listening to this fire shit. Well you gotta be in the video, part of it. Okay. How to sell one hundred pop sockets per month. And this is from my own experience. Okay? Like I'm not saying this is the way, this is the only way. This is just what's worked for me. This is and always really how has we worked. Do it. This is always how we do it. We always teach and say things based on our own experiences yeah. which is so like how you should there could it. totally be parts for like that, that did not apply to me that didn't work for yeah. me dude because there are totally people who teach shit about like affiliate marketing or whatever and it's oh, just yeah. stuff that other people told them yeah or this is what works yeah but it's they didn't actually experience it like yeah. we all we only ever teach anything that we know from experience. So what I'm teaching here is not anything that I have found from anywhere. We would never I make, found it anywhere. We would it's, never make a pop socket video if we hadn't done it ourselves. I, I could live in a cave, have a uh, bunch of Amazon business, sell some pop sockets, and I just tell you my experience from that. My point yeah. is, it's all from me. Yeah. So, how to sell 100 pop sockets per month? Do you sell 100 per month? Let's see. That's what I'm here for. I don't so, know the answer to that. Just question. some proof. I'm not saying I do it per month, but I have. So here's just really. Some sure. proof, July. 100 pop sockets in one month. And look, look, I'm not even going to have. Yeah, yeah. 119 sure. to be exact. So uh, look at these. I don't even, I'm not even going to blur out the names. I'm not even going to blur them out. So you could, those are all the titles of boom, my boom. pop sockets. Who I've does sold. that? I mean, who does that? I think you'll find out later why who I am does? just saying it. But uh, oh. yeah, so 119 I've sold in one month. So it's legitimate. You can easily. Dude, I've been doing this for no time. You could easily sell 100 pop sockets mm -hmm. in one month. So let's get back into the PowerPoint. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is my process for getting them done. How do I get these pop sockets made? I feel like people complicate, complicate the process, but it's not complicated at all. And not even like scaling is super easy. Mm -hmm. I can scale so much faster than I have. Yeah. But I've been super busy with a bunch of other things that were more important, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So... Start off by saying I've never done any market research myself for the most part. What I really do is I tell my designer to emulate the best selling pop sockets and then they do the rest. So I'm not saying maybe how easy is that? Yeah, some VAs I feel like I say this to our designers, I tell them to do this and they're like, uh, no, I don't want to do it. So they want to be told, but this is super easy. You can literally go to the best sellers list for pop sockets and just tell them to like copy all those really not copy i don't mean copy don't copy those but um like use those to get inspiration those are the kind of designs you want to be making mm -hmm. that's yeah that's where the, yeah, the ideas originally came from and then now after so selling pop sockets for a while now i can kind of see from mine which ones sell and now i'm kind of making more of those mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i'd order 100 designs pay one dollar per pop socket which is totally reasonable because pop socket designs they don't need uh, like words, you can have words on them, but they're not like, they don't need this fancy text and font. That's another it, great it's thing. It's mostly graphic. Pop, that's another great thing about pop sockets. They're super easy to make. It's super cheap to make. Yeah, they're super cheap to make. And so. if you don't know what a pop socket is, that's what it is. This VA, I got them from onlinejobs.ph. Perhaps I'll put a link in the description to, to onlinejobs.ph, but that's where I find all my designers. This gives them affiliate commissions. Yeah. What else? What's next here? And then oh. they deliver within 48 hours. So find you a VA that can work like this. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. Yeah, so they got to like, uh, you got to let them know that. Like, I don't need to be telling you the designs to make. Just go to the best sellers list yeah. and like remake those. This Once again, don't remake them, but you use those as inspiration. This is real outsourcing. Yeah. 48 hours I had later, I have 100 designs and I spent 100 bucks on those. And like Merch by Amazon shouldn't be your main business. It's a side business. So... Run it like this. That's the, the way you run a merch by Amazon. Yeah, you got to outsource it as much as you can. Yeah. And like, like with, this, with this method, right, so 48 hours, this person works super fast. I could get 300 designs every week 
And, oh, next part, I forgot. And then I have another VA uploads boom. all these designs. Oh, you even say boom. 15 cents for upload, then boom, that's it. I mean, look, so I don't have all of my slots filled out in my merch for Amazon business because I'm super busy with other things, but this takes no time. So that's like my fault that I haven't done that. Yeah. And also with the uploading, I don't let the VAs upload completely. I let them put them into drafts. Yes. And then don't. I and then I have to individually review every single one. So that's really I, where I'm at. I feel like this is where I come in. Yeah, let me say something real quick. So that's where I'm at. I have a bunch that are in draft. I just need to get to checking them each and then uploading them. Because tell your story about what happened to, the, yeah, so, to that VA that uploaded yeah, them for So you. the reason why you don't want to have them upload it completely, you just want to leave it in draft. So what I did... I had a VA, this exact VA, right? You even recommended it. Oh, yeah. Me. It's the exact same VA yeah. so, that did the design. Yeah, so I had them uh, just upload 500, not 500, 100. 100 designs. Uh, they were all pop sockets. And so here's what happened. So I told them how to do it, but I guess they they did a little bit of their own. They're like, oh, let me make this listing better by saying I gave them the quality. exact, I, I, I said, write exactly this for full points description, mm -hmm. and they didn't listen. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So that's then they, they put like high quality design in the uh, bullet points, which is not allowed. That's, a, that's a big fat yeah. no no. So this will happen. Uploaded 100, boom, 100 rejections. The next day, terminated. terminated. Just My like merch that. account was terminated. I'd been building this business for one and a half years. I was tier 1000, which is nothing special. It was only making me like three to 500 bucks a month, but one and a half years rejected the next morning. I couldn't believe it. I lost business I've built for that long like that. Yeah. So it's her fault. Learn from his mistake. Always review the designs or the uploads first before posting them. So let's move on. I'm sure you're still a good person. Like it wasn't on purpose. All right, moving on. Ooh, we gotta get an uh, angle change because that's what's most effective on YouTube. Oh, oh wait, you gotta be. Wait, one last thing I wanna say. I'm taking losing my merch account as a positive, and yeah. I generally do believe it's a positive. Mm -hmm. So even after what I said, I generally believe it's a positive because now I can focus more on publishing and not have a little bit like five, two, three, four, five percent of my brain think about merch. Now it's zero percent merch, a hundred. On more important shit. That's fucking mindset wins right there. That's mindset wins, baby. All right, so what kind of pop socket designs sell? This is, once again, from my experience, here's what I've learned from the sales that I've had. So, people will buy a design for two reasons, from what I've seen. Either, reason number one, it's a hobby or an interest of theirs. For example, I'm only going to tell you about the ones that I've really had an experience with. So, animals... Pop sockets with pictures of animals on them sell great for me. More particularly, dogs and then all different kinds of breeds. Most of my sales, I don't know about most, but a lot come from Dachshund, Boxer. People uh, are so passionate terrier, about their dogs. Golden Retriever. I don't know, people, dog, dog owners love their dogs. Mm -hmm. So they, they buy pop sockets of, like, of the exact breed dog that they have. Mm -hmm. That's just my how I think about it because it freaking works. They sell. And then there's cats. Dolphins. 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 I love dolphins. Look at us. Swimming with dolphins. We swam with dolphins in Hawaii. <laughs> dolphins are awesome. I mean, I, I ride dolphins because I have a lot of pop sockets with dolphins on them. And it's not like I have one pop socket with dolphins on there. So I have like five different. And they all... Okay, I have maybe like ten different pop sockets with dolphins on them. And like at least five of them have a sale. Ooh, another one I forgot to add. Let me add it right now. Owls. Owls. owls, fucking owls, dude. There's, there's just this passionate group of people for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like literally everything. I have a particular owl pop socket. There it is. Uh, I think it has like thirty or forty sales all time. Whoa. Yeah. There's, there's one owl pop socket that did really well for me. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so open about sharing like the exact design. So like because I'm showing you right now. We're different. Yeah. We're different. And because provide that next level value. Merch by Amazon is not my main hustle. So. Yeah. Like, if you steal it, it's not that big Yeah, deal. if you steal it, and it doesn't matter. Kind of go ahead and steal it. Yeah. And then sports. So, right, I said interest in hobbies. I've really experimented with animals in sports. Uh, well, so, the sports ones, if you put, like, a, right, it's a circular pop socket. Circular. If you just put, like, a baseball on the pop socket, mm -hmm. that sells a lot for me. Yeah. A basketball, <laughs> soccer ball, a cricket ball. 
I don't know what a cricket ball looks like. Uh, Ooh, I imagine this right now. Wait, wait, uh, let's get like some. A, like a billiards magic eight ball, not yeah. magic eight, eight yeah. ball. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. What's your favorite sport? I, we love sports. We love, love sports. Like, uh, well, I guess my favorite sport is fantasy sports. Yeah, uh, fantasy. Fan, fantasy love, football and yeah. fantasy but basketball. But if we're talking real baseball. sports... It's a three-way tie between basketball, baseball, and football. Yeah. Three-way tie. I yeah. can't pick one. Yeah. yeah. Since, uh, what's since, your first sport? Yeah. Since we got into uh, online business, there's like no time for that anymore. I know. That's. Uh, I used to watch every game. I'm a huge things. Nets, Yankees, and Jets fan. Used to watch every single game. It's a tattoo. It's a Nets tattoo. Brooklyn Nets yeah. tattoo. Okay. Like, it's real. It's that serious. Okay, back yeah. to this. Sports. So, yeah. Sports, pop sockets. And this is two... Interest and hobbies I've listed because they're really the two that I've most Just things that with. people are really oh, passionate about. Another one. Just fishing is another one. Fishing. I have fishing pop socks I've sold. Uh, music is one. I have like a guitar one. I, I think I'll show you these later. I'll see. Okay. This video is getting pretty long. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on. And the other reason that people will uh, buy a pop sock design is because the design just looks cool. It's not about anything. It doesn't represent who they are or show their interests, but it just looks cool. Mm -hmm. You know? Wait, can uh, I do this real quick? I just got a notification for a comment from Iris. What does it say? Thank you for your sweet comment. I just realized I could literally watch you guys in deep thought and still be entertained. Oh, LOL. Iris is Thank amazing. Thank you for the ACX report. That alone is just showing dot, dot, dot. The rest gets cut off. Thank you. But oh, I love our comments. We see every single comment that ever comes in, and they're 99% amazing comments. Yeah. There's 1%. We've had some, some there was this guy. Comments. There's this guy who was like... Uh, Cool video, but you guys sound girly. You guys are girly. Fuck you. Fucking no, asshole. Get the fuck out of here. Bitch. Motherfucker. Alright. So they will buy because designs look cool, and one example of that is patterns. You know what a pattern design is? It's kind of the same thing, and it's repeated over. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a... Like a wallpaper. Here, if you look at the, the table here. What's this called? A table cover? That's a pattern. Know. You, know what a, you know what a pattern my is? My shorts. My shorts. That's a pattern. Pac-Man pattern. Yeah. Dude, this is actually a really cool pattern. So yeah, pattern designs have sold really well for me. What else do I have here? Just cool looking designs. Mm -hmm. If you look at the best selling ones, they're like, they got like galaxy cool stars and stuff. Yeah. They actually do look yeah. really cool. That's, I just feel like I would buy. Yeah. Like cool designs. All right. So moving on to the next thing, which I think is important to talk about, how to optimize your listing. I want to say the design, uh, I'll cover this in here. But I'll say it real quick, the design is like 95% of it. It's 95% of selling a pop socket. So when it comes to pricing, if you are in tier 500, not in tier 500, so if you're in tier 100 or below, you can't make money with, like, good money. Well, you can make like 50, 100 bucks a month, but that's, who cares about that? If, if that's what you're trying to do, uh, your mice is too small. Yeah. I don't care if you think... All I want to do is make an extra hundred bucks a month. You're wrong. Yeah. That's not all you want to make. Look, that's it's, all, happening, that's it's all. happening again. Yeah. I'm well, almost off frame. Yeah. Well, it like, happens. There. But uh, you've like convinced yourself that that's okay. And you or might something. think you might actually only want that, but your mindset is just too small. You don't realize that you want a lot more. All right. So if you're in tier 100 or below, you need to price low because all that matters is tiering, tiering up. up. So you need to get sales to tier up. Mm -hmm. So our perfect price for that selling pop size is at eleven dollars ninety nine cents. You get nineteen dollars profit. That doesn't matter. Nineteen dollars profit. Oh, you said nineteen, 19 cents. cents. Nineteen cents profit uh, on each sale. That doesn't matter at all. So, but all if right. you're uh, tier five hundred or higher, I feel like tier five hundred is where you can actually make some real money. Like you know, four hundred, five hundred, at least five hundred bucks a month. I feel like a good uh, thing to shoot for is like one dollar per every per what tier, per what tier you're in. If you're in tier five hundred, if you make five hundred bucks a month. That's totally realistic and well done. Mm. Tier 1,000, 2,000. So if you want to make 5,000 a month, tier 5,000 uh, is your best bet. Yeah. So when you're 500 or higher, the goal is profit. You're in a high enough tier to make money, and you will you know, slowly tier up still. So I would go for fourteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine, because then you're actually making something that's like worth it. So 225 profit or 294 profit People will still sale. gladly buy it at that price. Yeah. But I will say, there's, could, I mean, you will sell many more at a lower price because uh -huh. a lot are selling at that lower price. Yeah, okay. But yeah, you will still make sales at that You'll price. You'll make more money at 49 Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'll make way more money at that, at that price. So when it comes to optimizing your listings, your title, like I don't want to get too much into this because I have found that, like I said before, 95% of selling your pop socket is the design itself. Mm 
So for the title, just stuff it with keywords and then end it with the word design. You cannot write pop socket in in the title or in the brand name. So it'll get rejected and you can lose your account. Exactly. So stuff with keywords, like if it's a dog one, dog, puppy, dog, owner, golden retriever design for dog owners. Something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's not that complicated to be honest. I think you're overthinking it if you're like whether stressing or not, about what to make the title. Whether or not that is the number one best way to do it without a doubt. We don't know. This is just off our experience. Yeah. So, and then when it comes to optimizing your listings, title is like everything. I, I think I, uh, from my experience, the description and the bullet points barely matter. Mm. I've had blank bullet points and descriptions and made sales. I, I even had a, a uh, I've had multiple titles that were spelling mistakes. It was a picture of like a golden retriever and it said uh, boxer, terrier, <laughs> pop socket. And people, like it doesn't, it didn't matter that yeah. it was completely wrong. Yeah. You know, but people still bought it. Still, I will provide you with the exact bullet points that I use for my descriptions. So I'm not going to read them out because they're kind of long, but here's what I use for my two bullet points. Are you not allowed to put pop socket in? No, you put it. You put in the uh, oh, description. Okay. I mean, the bullet points, just okay. not in the title or. or this branding. video is so long, Rasmus. Just... Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so that is the end of that. Next thing I want to do, I want to show you some of my own pop sockets. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's oh, more. Yeah. Like straight up, I'm just gonna show you my pop sockets. Straight up. I'm gonna show you my pop socket. You want to see my pop socket? <laughs> I want to see your pop socket. <laughs> All right. All right. So first here, I'm. I pulled up four here. They're not. They don't sell awesome, but they all have. Water Malone. Like, <laughs> They all have like five to ten likes sales watermelon. Each. So this is a pattern thing, and it could be like a passion hobby thing if people like watermelon. But yeah, the patterns sell well. This one has like five or ten sales all time. So I'm only gonna show you four full screen, and I'll explain why after. But there, yeah, there's this one. Take a look at it. Next one. These pattern dolphins. I, I'll tell you I mean, these dolphins I'll sell. I'll tell you, this is a badass looking design. Yeah, let's wait for this to load. See, that's how, cool. How did your designer make that? I don't know. I hope she's not just copying. Yeah, because that's on the internet. pro as fuck. Yeah. So yeah, this one does well. Another pattern one. A cactus pattern. I don't know if people are really some passionate people, about cactus, cactuses. Hey, hey, man. Some people love cactuses. But it's a really cool pattern. So. Yeah. There's that. I don't really fuck with cactuses that much. Yeah, they kind of are spiky. Well, I mean, they are, but okay. that's not... Uh, and then this is the other one that I was talking about. Yes. Is the baseball. I would rock something like that. Yeah, if you're into baseball, people buy this. I will, I will say, though, I think pop sockets are stupid. I would never wear them on my phone. You've never tried one. No. What's the point? Like, <laughs> so I don't drop my phone? I'm not dropping my phone anyway. You, you can. You can, to be honest. What if you're in a helicopter ride, right? And you want to shoot some aerial heli footage? What if I'm in a helicopter ride? Yeah. That's why I have a pop socket on my phone at all times, just in case... I have a, <laughs> yeah. I have a spontaneous and random yeah. helicopter ride. What I'm coming saying up. is you're not gonna lose. I mean, it. yes, in that case, yes, I would want a pop socket. Right, okay. In that case, I'm not using a pop socket. Okay. I'm gluing it to my hand. Anyway, all right. So I'm gonna try and keep this short, quick. Um, I have these are not my best selling pop sockets. Um, Why don't you sell them the best selling? Let's talk about that. Okay. So I had fifty pop sockets that all had a sale before, right? And then in the, I got an email from Amazon that said, please remove PopSocket from your brand name because that's not allowed. I'm like, okay, this fine, some, I will. This is some typical Amazon bullshit. Yeah, for real it is. So I removed PopSocket from the brand name of all those 50 PopSockets. And then I submitted it. All I did was remove PopSocket, changed nothing else. And all 50 got rejected. All 50 got rejected. These are my best selling PopSockets. So that's why I don't sell... Uh, 120 pop sockets a month anymore because my 50 best selling ones uh, are gone. So yeah, but I can still show you the, They still have this remove section you go here removed so I can show you all the removed pop socket designs So these were my best selling ones. They're trying to well, not let us show your designs, but we're like no we have to show the yeah. list fam I mean, so let me okay. So this one sold a lot. This one sold like 40 times in one month the vintage wow. camera. and all, all of these have at least one sale um, so random stuff cat fishing Speedometer like a car. See, I told you these uh these dog ones do well. So let's go to the next. Here, I wish I could show you the full screen, but I can only show you this little, you know, little image of the designs. So yeah. let's load, please. All right, here they are. More dolphins. Oh, look at the pi pineapple. A ball with the now. A fucking big ass ball or pineapple. Look, look. Now I'm a pineapple wearing headphones. Oh, sure. 
Um, dogs eat dogs. <laughs> Another softball one. Emoji. Soccer ball. Camera. Dogs. See, there's a lot of dog ones. Dolphins. I'm not saying these are the best pop sockets to make, but they work for me, and so they definitely will work for you. But there's definitely better ones out there. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, you got 3,000. You're tier 3,000. Yeah. Get some more products up there. I know, I know. I've been too busy with this shit. If you upload them all, you can get to, VA, to I, two grand a month, and you get some more merch clout. Yeah, I know. You're right. And I told my VA to start uploading, but they're like super lazy. They've been doing like 10 a day. And I'm like, hello. Mother, are you serious? Let's get to uploading. Yeah. And I still have to review everyone myself. It takes a long time. This guitar lover design did really well. Then after Cancun, you'll have time. Before it got removed, yeah. So that will be a, more of a focus. So take a look at these. These are some of my best-selling ones. Um, piano. So I guess that wraps up this video. Mm -hmm. I feel like I shared everything I could. I told you how I get my pop sockets made, what kind of designs I make, and I showed you my best-selling pop sockets. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to do. So... I hope you enjoyed that video. If just, you just did, did well, well, tell them how epic pop sockets are. Like, I, personally, I would go pop sockets over t-shirts. Yeah, I would personally. Yeah, and they're really cheap to make. So I hope this video is epic as fuck because I told you everything I know that's made me a few hundred dollars from pop sockets, mm -hmm. a few hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. um, but that concludes this. Subscribe to the channel if you like this shit. Like the video too if you thought yes. it was so helpful. And link in description for to join our email list. In exchange, you'll get a free PDF download of our top ten secrets, top five secrets to how to build a big audiobook business. Because merch by Amazon is our side hustle. Oops. Audiobooks is our main hustle. Audiobooks are it. Look at that. Look Flame, at that beautiful thing. Fire, 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 fire. Alright. Straight heat. See you in the next video.